Hillary employees reveal new scandal. This is gross from USA Politics Today by Gary Mayer. Following the 2016 election, the American people heard Hillary Clinton come out and say that she lost the election due to sexism and misogyny. It turns out that there was sex and, uh, sexism taking place, but not in the Republican Party. Lillian Adams was 19 when she first started working for the Democrats. She took place uh, on Clinton's campaign for the election and was subject to sexual harassment due, uh, during her time there. According to the Huffington Post, Adams dealt with sexual harassment for months in her position on the Clinton campaign. Even after reporting the situation to her superiors, there was still little done about the harassment until much later. Adams' claims are indeed alarming. She star, uh, stated that the man who made the remarks towards her knew she was bisexual and that is where he started targeting her. The offender would make homophobic remarks again on the Clinton campaign and directed the comments towards her. It is important to address the fact that this took place when and where it did because it blows the Democrat narrative out of the water. Adams went on to say that the offender would try to force her into situations where the two of them would be alone. Even if he couldn't get her alone, he would still encourage her not to wear bras to work. According to Adams, he made multiple comments about my body, told people we were dating, would constantly try to get me to drink. I was 19 try to force me into situations where we were alone, encourage me not to wear bras, etc. Huffington Post confirmed that they spoke with someone close to Adams. This person cleared the story and said that the events described by Adams did in fact occur. The media has tried to reach out to the person who Adams alleged committed these acts to see if they would reply or comment. Up until this point, they have refused to comment on the matter. Adams reached out to her superiors with the hopes of getting the offender fired for his harassment. The issue remained, and by August, Adams claimed she had lost all hope that the problem would be get resolved. Finally, her harasser was terminated from his position. Text messages back and forth between Adams and her superior confirmed that the everything was okay and that Adams could comfortably go back to work again. Adams soon discovered that another state rehired her offender in September. He was still working on the Clinton campaign but with uh, another state party. So he was technically fired but still ended up working for Hillary via the other state Democratic Party, Adams said. She then explained why she thinks this is a problem and where it stems from. In most cases, you have a lot of young, passionate people who want to help change the world through democratic pol politics, Adams said. She continued, older democratic operatives see this passion and exploit it, putting, up, uh, putting us in an extremely stressful and unhealthy work environment. Despite all else, it appears that there were serious cases of sexual harassment happening within the Clinton campaign who claim that they are there to help women and protect them from heinous people like the ones that they hire. Should Hillary Clinton face justice for this? Hillary Clinton could care less about anybody except herself. You know, it's just that simple. She could care less. So she put him in another place. That's about it. But she's not going to fire him. She didn't fire her husband. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.